All right, so we're here with Danielle, and Danielle came in with um, pictures from a few years ago where she just said, what happened? You know, we're, what looks different? And um, in my opinion, the thing that looks the most different from today versus a few years ago, is she, she was just a lot softer looking and a lot um, fuller looking a few years ago. And so today, what we've done so far is we've actually filled her left side, and we, we missed it on the camera reaction, but I showed it to her in the mirror and she said, oh, my bag's gone. So we actually filled the left side under the eye. My strong preference for that is Restylane, and someday if we ever see it in person, I'll tell you about why. And then the cheek area, we've actually rebuilt the cheek area as well, and my strong preference for that is Jupiter Ultra Plus. Now we're going to go ahead and do this side, and we did this with a cannula technique. On that side, it only took one needle stick, and so the fewer the needle sticks, the less the chance of bruising, so that's always really nice. We're going to go ahead and do this side, and the goal on this side is to bring this shape, relax your eye up there for me, back and soft like that. And that's usually how I simulate it in the mirror before we even start the filling process to make sure we're all on the same page as to what we're going to do. So rest your head back there in the pocket there, Daniel. Chin down just a little bit. And you can start on the side. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. One little poke. One, two, three, poke. Sorry. So we're using rest on Eyes up to the ceiling. Restylane is by far my preference in the tear trough proper. And this instrument's called a cannula that bruises tremendously less than needles do. I've been using cannula in general many months now, and under the eye probably four or five months. And it's very natural for us because when you do fat transfer, it's a very similar instrument. And uh, the other nice thing is it's pretty painless. Would you agree? Mostly don't feel it? I don't feel anything. Yeah. So the fewer the needle sticks, the better the procedure is. Alright, so things are going well. We've done the inner corner of the under eye, and we're going to go ahead and work into the outside portion of it, and into the cheek. And this. You okay? Mm -hmm. This is the last bit. Maybe done. And so for our viewers there, it was one syringe of plane and two of Juvederms we ended up using. Um, I believe in trying to give people a really good result. So generally when I do three or more syringes, I basically take a little bit off the price so we can use enough to make a difference rather than just doing a couple and not making the change. That looks great. Still a peroxide swab. I'll let you see, okay? Perfect. Take a look. This time we'll get it on camera. You can actually see. <laughs> oh my god. There's no more bags. Isn't that crazy? High five. <laughs> All right. So that is that is interesting. That is almost always the reaction we get with injectable fillers under the eyes. Wow. We hear that all the time. We've heard it in Japanese. We've heard it in English. And where are you from? New Jersey. We've heard it in Jersey. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah.